Okay, had a request here for um, calculating depletion uh, as opposed to depreciation, which is uh, sort of the same thing, just a different word. And here we're going to be using some units of production. So let's look at what we have. We have ABC Petroleum holds huge reserves of oil assets. Assume that at the end of 2018, their cost of oil reserves total $27 million, representing 3 million barrels of oil. Uh, number one says, what method does ABC Petroleum use to compute depletion? Well, when we're looking at these types of situations, really we're thinking of units of production. And the reason that we think about units of production is we essentially, we look at it as this is a sort of mining um, or oil company. But where we're talking about natural resources, um, we use depletion uh, as opposed to depreciation. And the reason is we are, if you think about it, we're really depleting these natural resources from these um, mines or reserves. So ABC Petroleum will be using units of production method to compute their depletion. And when we talk about um, computing depletion, something we need to think about here is we know the cost of the reserves is $27 million. And if this was um, machinery uh, with mining or, or ore, for instance, we'd look at the cost of the machinery. But this is the cost of the reserves. So we have the cost, and in this case it's $27 million. And what we're going to do in that case is divide that by what we anticipate to be the life or the availability of natural resources that we are mining or using. In this case, it's 3 million barrels of oil. So this would really be our natural resource that we estimate having um, or using. So in this case, if we're doing this, 27 million divided by 3 million, we have $9, and these are in barrels. So $9 per barrel would be ABC Company's depletion cost. Now, number two says, suppose they removed and sold 500,000 barrels of oil during 2019. And then we want to journalize depletion for this. Well, if they removed and sold 500,000 barrels, we already know $9 a barrel. So, in essence, if we multiply this, 9 times 500,000, we'll get $4,500,000 worth of depletion expense. So for number two, yeah, I don't want to change color. For number two, what we'll end up having is we will have a depletion expense of four million five hundred thousand dollars and we will credit accumulated depletion of four million five hundred thousand now we may want to um, signify this that this is from our reserves we may have depletion expense um, oil reserves accumulated depletion for oil reserves, whatever we're doing there, we may want to uh, specify that here after our depletion expense and accumulated depletion. But this is what we do in the case where we have uh, natural resources that we're using. We look at it from a form of depletion as opposed to depreciation. So I hope this helps.